get you acquainted with these two teams as we move along. And White Bear Lake will acquaint themselves with the scoreboard. And White Bear Lake takes a 1-0 lead. 8.33 is her goals allowed average. She is ending the pipes for the Bears. And Kenneth Cunnington gets on the board with 21.58 left to go in the first half. Nice move by Cunnington to weave her way through traffic. And Matamidi takes the lead. Cunnington with her second goal of the game. And now Matamidi waits to run a set. No shot clock at the high school level, so you can run a quick stick as patiently as you'd like. And that quick stick sets up another score for Cunnington. And White Bear Lake is going to call a timeout on the prowl. She has been a catalyst for White Bear Lake several times this year. But look at this, an opening on the left side. Beverly Peterson was left alone. She saw a lane along the left side. Nobody was there to cover her. And Peterson says, thank you very much. I'll make it a 3-2 game. Mark for lacrosse, the white circle is where the girls' net is located. For the boys, it's the black circle, which has moved up a few feet. So the girls have to travel a little farther. And how about that recovery? McKenna Cunnington was in trouble, and I think she lost her stick, but Evie Sigelski was right there, and she knocks it in. So Cunnington will get an effective penalty shot here. Already has a hat trick. And now she has a four spot. Holds a deke on White Bear Lakes goalie, Lisa McElmurray. And Matabinai makes it a 5 2 game with 9.22 left in the first half. Now I'm curious to see how Matabinai will progress against Sigelski. On the bench, centering pass was tipped by Peterson. Cunnington recovers and scores. That is a huge goal in terms of momentum. Dewey scores. Peterson weaves around traffic and dumps it in. Peterson with her second goal of the game, and now White Bear Lake awakening from their offensive slumber. Again, Matamidi with the woman up because of the yellow card on Grace Castro. And they make the most of it to make it a 7-4 game. That has to sting for White Bear Lake. Here comes Jensen off the screen. Then he tried to set a screen, but Matamidi read it. Jensen around traffic. That was a much needed goal. Jada Jensen, the screen didn't work, so she reverses direction, loses the defender, squeezes through the hole, fires, and scores. <laughs> 